If what Cicero does in a large part of the speech is going through the life of Antony from boyhood until the present time and to pick out all the juiciest bits of what Antony allegedly did wrong. Because something like political correctness didn't really exist in the Roman Republic. If you wanted to damage your opponent, you mentioned anything you could find in their life that wasn't good or might have an impact on the audience and you brought it up. And you, that could extend to family and friends as well. So in this particular section, he starts from what Antony did in his early years and ends up with what happened most recently. And one of the recent events he mentions is what Antony did at the festival of the Lupercalia, that a festival that was celebrated annually in February. And the last one obviously happened in February 44, when Caesar was still alive, just before he was assassinated a month later. And on that occasion, Caesar in his full consul's robe sat on, on the platform, whereas Antony appeared as a Lopercus, that was a community of priests of which he was a part. And part of the festival was that the people who had been dressed up as Luperci were running around almost naked, sort of just with a bit of underpants as it were. And in that sort of dress, he comes up to Caesar the consul and offers him a diadem. And the fact, and Cicero says, the fact that he brought the diadem shows that it wasn't a spontaneous thing, but that it was premeditated. And he offers Caesar the diadem, and Caesar, of course, refuses, absolutely, because Caesar knows that the worst thing in Rome is to be appear officially as a king, because that's a taboo, that's what you don't do. But um, Antony carries on with it, and then, according to Cicero, even orders that it's entered into the records that he offered a, um, a, that he offered royal power to Caesar and Caesar declined. And what C Cicero infers from that is that Antony is secretly planning to take over royal power himself when the time comes. Obviously, at that point, he couldn't. But the fact that he offered it to Caesar was just in anticipation or in preparation of introducing a role like that into the Roman Republic, which he could then take over. And Cicero reminds the audience that the, Ro the Roman kings were driven out of Rome when the Republic was instituted, and Mark Antony is now dri uh, trying to, to drive that back. And that is a, it might not sound as much, but that is a really strong reproach in the Roman Republic because after the, they had kings in the early period and the Republic was instituted, the, trying to reintroduce kings was the worst thing you could possibly do. So this is a really strong reproach. And the fact that Cicero doesn't just say it, but tells it as a really nice story, makes it much more effective. I, obviously, I just picked out the summary of it, but if you're reading it, it's presented in a really vivid and graphic way, how Antony stands there almost naked with his crown in his hand, and that makes it, even if you just read it, makes it much more effective and works on the audience on a psychological level, and that's basically how oratory works. It's not just the arguments you make, but the way you present them to your audience, and this is a prime example of how to do it, even if I say this was never actually tested, but we can see how effective it would have been if it was delivered, because even reading it, it is a really nice piece of text.